Yeah, it, I was happy to get it done. Um, now I can sort of cast my mind towards next season. Obviously, I'll enjoy some time off as well. Um, and yeah, pleasing for me to finish on a high towards the end of last season and hopefully I can take that momentum into the following season. Yeah, gradually building up, aren't you? First season, there were a couple of sub-appearances and then I think there were five last year, so you're getting closer. Yeah, getting closer, but as I say, it's it's just a start. Um, hopefully I can continue that progress, as I say, and maybe make them substitute appearances into starts. As long as my performance is warranting that, then I'll be happy. You've been in a club a long time. I think people don't always realise you, you came here as a 12-year-old, didn't you? Yeah, came here at a very young age, um, and there was a lot of travelling by my mum and dad, uh, weeknights getting to training and stuff from Blackwood. Um, and yeah, so basically it's been going through different stages of my career so far, playing academy football, playing 18s football, reserve team football, and now sort of creeping into the first team environment, which is really good for me, it's, it's benefited me a lot. A lot of youngsters have gone by the wayside during your journey through to the first team. I mean, any in particular you think were hard done by and, and, and have got careers elsewhere? Um, yeah, a lot, a lot of the boys I've played with, um, they've, they've always been really good players um, and some have moved on to play elsewhere. Um, some have chosen to, to not play football and go into other sorts of education and different aspects of life. But um, in terms of being hard done by, I'm, I'm not so sure because football, football and sort of people find their way eventually, depending on what they, they want to do, I guess. There are some youngsters in the side now, though, I mean, who've also come through the academy, albeit they haven't been there as long as you. I mean, Tom Lockyer, Ellis Harrison have come that way as well. I mean, you've got a good blend of youth and experience now in that first team squad. Yeah, definitely. When, when I'm on the pitch, especially, I, I can look to my side and see boys who have been in the same position as I am. And, and that helps massively when I'm playing like my debut games and, and getting more minutes and different situations in each game. I, I can look just to my left or right and I'll, I'll have experience at my side, which is really helpful. And not just on the pitch, even on the training ground, I can ask questions. Um, I can ask questions to the coaching staff, but also the players as well. You, you, you've had a few knocks along the way. I mean, I mean, a couple of years ago, I remember you giving a, a short term deal to start with you worked really hard to tour in a longer term one and, and here you are now a few years later you've got another contract so you must be pleased with the progress you've made. Yeah I'm pleased with the progress um, it doesn't really matter to me whether it's short term contracts or, or even long term contracts I'll always, I'll always progress or try to progress and, and be the best player I can basically. And does that go with you? You've got a couple of loan spells as well. I think Taunton a few years ago, shortly after you played against Birmingham in the, in the League Cup. Yeah, quite a contrast really, isn't it? But I, I enjoyed all, all aspects, you know. Just playing football is, is what I want to do. And whether it's Taunton on loan or at the Memorial Ground, it's, it's all helpful to me. There was Bath City as well last year, of course. Half a dozen games for them. Yeah, I enjoyed, I enjoyed my spell there. Obviously got injured towards the end, which was a bit frustrating. But that's football. You get little little blocks in your way but it was nice to overcome that and then eventually get some joy in the first team with Bristol Rovers. That's right, you had some minutes towards the end of the season and that must have boosted you going into the close season. Yeah definitely and, and in terms that we were on the surge towards the playoffs we had, we had a knock back here and there but it was good to be in an environment where we were pushing forward and trying to achieve things. Next step I guess is a first start isn't it? Yeah definitely, I'll, I'll hope, looking towards that, hopefully I can achieve it but like I say, I'll just get back pre-season and hopefully do the best I can, put myself in a good position to do so and, and see where we go from there.